um, yeah, it's, it's amazing doing this show this many years later, whoever would have thought, not me. Um, but it's, uh, it's awesome. It's awesome to get to play this character, Johnny Lawrence, 35 years later after the crane kick and see what happened to him, uh, see where he's at now, which isn't too good. We get to meet this guy flat on his face, you know, the Coors banquet in his hand and trying to fix a television, he's kind of a hermit all to himself. And then he meets this kid and in it, and he turns into sort of a Miyagi by saving him and opening up this dojo again. Um, it's awesome to play that he's an anti-hero now. He's not the uh, quintessential villain of of the the story of the Karate Kid. He's a three dimensional person. So in many ways, Johnny Lawrence is a brand new character. He's he's Johnny Lawrence today. You know, we've changed since high school, yeah. so he's got thirty five years in him. So it's it's really like playing a brand new character altogether um, with the history of the Karate Kid as his built in backstory that everybody's along for on that ride, and uh, it gives it a lot of uh, a lot of uh, depth and, and um, right. That's why it's working. And when the show when the show first came out, I remember like episode one is when I figured out like, oh, this is different. Like it's actually genius <laughs> because, you know, they introduce you and it's like, oh, oh, Johnny hasn't let this go at all. Like this is still the biggest thing Johnny's ever done in his life. But then you go to Daniel and he hasn't let it go either. Like this is still like this thing that happened in high school has defined yeah. both of you and like you're this like right. you know <laughs> drunk who's never gotten over losing and daniel's right. become this like douche car salesman that's never gotten over winning that's right and, that's right and, and it just like it like <laughs> yeah. makes you feel better right because when you're like when you watch the movie as a kid and you're like oh and i'm sure they just go on to greatness after it and man what right. have i done in my life since i watched that movie nothing right and then you watch they catch up with these characters and you're like oh these characters have done nothing either <laughs> yep yep that's exactly right that's right it's a arrested development for both of them you know in different directions daniel went on to be successful he had the crane kick win he had the good mentor in his life and yeah it's that it's that you know listen we all had something happen in our childhood or high school or our youth that it sort of defines us in a way to ourselves these characters are, are just like that and this happened to be you know, in front of uh, this is the biggest thing. This karate in the valley in in the Karate Kid is like football in Texas. It's like the big stage. This is like the biggest humiliation and the biggest victory in the valley. You know, and so they're they're both. Yeah, here's Daniel Larusso still carrying uh carrying his torch, putting his his kicks up with his billboards <laughs> on the side of the street, and Johnny Lawrence having to deal with that every day, driving around and being reminded, having that salt put in his wound every day. Uh, for these last years and doing his best to just kind of stay under the radar. He doesn't want to bump into Daniel when he goes to the dealership the first time to pick up his car, which which got taken there by accident. He just he doesn't want anything to do with it. He wants to get out of there. He wants to get his car and get the heck out. And there's LaRusso. Hey, Johnny, how you doing? Good to see you. Man. I kicked your ass in high school in front of everybody. <laughs> and, uh, you know, now... <laughs> No, what's he going to do? And then he hands him a bonsai tree on the way out the door, you know, like, hey, have a little bonsai tree, which is just the final straw. Johnny's like, like, forget it, man. So I'm opening up Cobra Kai. But but it's so great because it's not less pathetic. Just because, like, Daniel is successful doesn't mean he's less pathetic. Right. Still oh, yeah, living no, he's living vicariously through that victory, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. No, he's he, exactly. I mean, how did he end up being a car salesman? The guy could have gone on to real greatness. You know, he's selling cars. That's the one thing he knew two things in his youth. He knew how to wax a car and he knew how to throw a kick. He put those two together and made a mint. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, it's, it. It's the, <laughs> it's the perfect example of, of people who you see 30 years later still wearing their high school football jackets. Like, cause that oh, yeah. was the big, that was the big moment in life. And they just have never moved beyond that. Like they've got married and had kids, but any glory or any feelings of like hopefulness is always yeah. kind of right back there. Yeah. But you know, as the years go by that high school jacket sits in the closet and it just becomes a sore reminder. It's like, you know, you've right. got to shove it to the side. I don't think anybody's wearing it 20 years later, but it's in there and it's this little reminder of, of your glory days. And then you look in the mirror and go, what the hell happened? You know, you know, that's what's happening yeah. in the, in the show. You know, Johnny's got all his, his Cobra Kai, all his karate trophies are in his closet, you know, shoved to the side. There's a second place broken trophy, his original first place. You know, it's there. It's, you don't let go of those things. Those are things that you hang on to. And these characters are hanging on to them for better or worse. And in this case, you know, Johnny opens Cobra Kai and opens Pandora's box. Now LaRusso sees that and then game on. And here we go. 
Well, season four is yeah. uh, scheduled to be uh, popping up on Netflix at the end of the year or so, sometimes, sometime later this year. Um, but in the meantime, if for any reason you're one of the few that have not watched this show or are not up to date on the show, it really is amazing what they've done with it. It's all, every episode's yeah. on Netflix. So, you know, if you haven't seen Cobra Kai yet, I don't know what you've been waiting for, but go check it out. 